Hey guys, let's make this tutorial quick. So today we're going to be showing you how to make an AI path for Assetto Corsa tracks. So what, first, well, first of all, what you're going to want to do is locate your Assetto Corsa files. So uh, mine's going to be in Steam Apps, Assetto Corsa, and uh, then you go. So once you're in your Assetto Corsa file with all these things, go to System, then CFG, then this one here called Assetto, Assetto can't speak Assetto underscore Corsa dot ini. So you open that then it will open this notepad thing. Now you scroll down and you want to find the one that says AC apps enable dev apps. You change that, that will be on zero for you, you change that to one, you exit and press save. Uh, now what that mean, what you've just done is enabled developer options so when you're in the game you can open you know when you move your mouse to the side of the screen it brings up other options, yeah you can, it, it brings up even more options now so we'll head into the game now Alright, once you're on your game, choose a car that is quite easy to drive. So, for example, I'm just going to choose the uh, Formula Abarth, the Tattoos FA01. That's not too hard to drive and it's not too fast. And uh, I'm going to choose a track which I don't think the AI are too good on, which is going to be Albert Park for today. Also, make sure it's on practice, not race, so other cars don't interfere with you, so you're going to be the only one on track. Alright, so I'm going to be choosing this car because it's not too fast and it handles very well. The reason why you want a car that handles very well is because, um, so you can drive the smoothest line possible. You don't need to go as fast as you possibly can. I mean, the faster lines and the faster you go, I guess, the faster the AI will end up being. But as long as you're smooth, that'll be helpful. So, that's key. Uh, so I've chosen Albert Park. This is a modded track, by the way. It's not default in the game. And I think right now we can head into the race. So, press start. Alright, so you're in your game now. I'm sitting here in the pit lane, so this is where you should start, obviously, in the pits. Uh, now, what you want to go do is on the side, you have all these new things. Scroll down until you find the one with a picture of a guy, a human person, next to a screen with a helmet on it, and it's called AI. The option is AI. So it will open this thingy, and you'll notice this thing pops up, and there's lines on the track. Uh, what you want to fill with is this thing here could start recording, start pits, and when you're done, you use the. Uh, if I can move it right, it says save AI at the bottom. So first of all, what we're going to you're going to have to drive with us on the screen, unfortunately, but yeah, we're going to um, we're going to press start pits first. All right. So first of all, what you want to do is before you do any driving, you want to do the pit lap. There's going to be two lines that you. So there's going to be two lines that the AI actually drive. There's the pit lines and the race lines. Start pits is when you start in the pits, you drive out of the pits, you come back in the pits at the end of that lap and you stop where you started. And then you press stop recording. That is the line that the AI will take when they use the pits. This is the start recording line for the racing line. So you would start before the start finish line and then you drive a lap as smooth as you possibly can. Don't stop before the end of the lap. Go, keep going and race over the line and complete your lap and then you press stop recording and then you press save AI and then your AI will be done. So let's get into it. I'm going to press start pits and let's drive a lap. I'm assuming this little blue line that I'm following is a previous line. That's the line that the AI are currently driving. So we're going to exit the pits now and drive as well as I possibly can. I probably won't do too great. I haven't practiced on this track in a wee while. I usually nick the grass a couple times when I go over the corners so the AI, the AI will end up doing the same thing. But I'll just let you watch my lap I guess. Not too much to say I guess. I just gotta do this lap and I'll be done. I may as well just skip to the pits shall I? Yeah I'll see you then. Okay, so once you complete your lap, you come into the pits as you would normally do. You enter the pits. And now what you want to do is stop where you started. So I'm going to stop right here. And then you press stop recording. Sorry, I delayed there. I'm just checking if I have pressed record. So it was recording, now stop recording. That's your pit lap done. So now what you're going to want to do is drive another lap, don't worry about pressing record, just go out there now, so I'm going to go out um, and drive a lap, then stop before the start line and I'll see you when I'm there. 
Okay, so I'm back and I've stopped before the start line, preferably where the racing line is going to be. So we're going to be racing along near the edge of the track. Uh, so what you're going to want to do is you press start recording up here, drive a lap as perfect as you can. It may take you a couple goes, but drive that lap as well as you possibly can. And when you come to the end of your lap, keep driving until you go over the line quick and on the same line as we started, hopefully. And then you press stop recording then you press save AI at the bottom and then I'll show you what to do after that so let's just record this lap this time it will flash red let's go and if, as you see if you cross over the line you'll probably get the slightest bit of lag that's just registering your lap beginning it'll do the same when you cross the line at the end of the lap so let's just drive this lap and I want to concentrate hopefully not mess up that'll be nice so I'll see you at the end of this lap final corner of my lap now, oh, that was a terrible finish uh, yeah so I made a couple mistakes on my lap but that's not too bad it's just a tutorial so let's keep going over the line and that's a lap so as you saw it lagged a little bit as I went over the line um, now what you want to do is when you, I'm not sure but when you press stop recording for me it doesn't stop recording so what I just do here is press save II it says it's saved at the top and what you want to do here is just exit the game and go back to where, st where um, we started. So I'll see you there. Okay, so we're back in our Assetto Corsa folder. Uh, we want to go back to System, CFG, Assetto Corsa.ini. Now we want to find this AC apps with enabled dev apps. We want to change that back to zero. I mean, you could leave it on if you want to, but I, I don't. I just like changing it back to zero. And then you save that. Um, that's not it yet though, so go back, go back again, uh, go to content, tracks, and find the track that you were just doing, so I was doing Albert Park, then go to that AI folder, and now you've got these files called, um, thing, 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 dot, candidate, so these candidate files are the AI lines that you just recorded, these ones that just have AI, you can delete those, those are the old AI lines, and to get the AI working, you just get rid of the word candidate and the dot before that. Uh, and you press yes, and it will rename it. So, the don't get rid of the AI or anything, just make sure it looks like this, and you'll be good to go. So those lines are saved. I'm going to go back into Seto Corsa now and show you that it works. Now once you're back into Seto Corsa, you want to switch from practice to race again. I'm going to choose race weekend. Um, you can select your car, it doesn't have to be the same car, you can choose any car now, I'm going to actually prove that, so I'm going to go, oh let's see what car, I've got a bunch of different cars, um, hmm, let's use, I'm going to go ahead and use Formula Master, because I recently got those and they're quite fun to drive, so same track that you just did, opponents, I'm just going to use the same car that I'm driving and I just got rid of it, hold on, let's find those that car, where is it? Uh, where are, there you are, okay, so let's just grab a few of these guys, five of them, that'll be fine. Um, you can set difficulty to whatever you want, okay, let's go. Okay, so we're about to race now on the starting grid, the Formula Master cars. Great start that was. I'm not going to be driving as fast as I can, I just want to trail behind these cars to see what their lines are like, so I cut the corner a few times slightly, didn't do the best. I made a few mistakes. Oh my, getting a bit lagged there. Um, I'm not sure exactly where I cut the corners. I'm just trying to remember. It also helps for us to spot that I made mistakes and that they follow exactly what I did. Um, I might. They might do something here. Oh, yeah, they. No, they're all right around here. I didn't make that many mistakes, but I made a couple pretty quick though I must say so I didn't drive too badly driving worse now than I did in my actual drive uh, my actual AI um, lap I'm right behind this guy though Let's see if he cuts it or oh, just about this one oh terrible quarter from me no he's not doing too bad actually he's driving quite nicely what about this one I think I did cut this one slightly We're about to find out yes you can see the slight puffs of um, whatever they are, a cloud of dust puffing up from the grass so they do just slightly cut the corner I might actually drop back because that guy's far 
Okay, I'll let this guy through. See this guy's lines. He slightly cut that one. I mean, not really. He didn't really cut the corner. That one he did a little bit. Uh, I usually go quite narrow into the entrance of this one, so he did the same as me. I'm ease off the throttle. Just oh, accidentally tapping him. Uh, pretty good to that corner. Last few corners now. I'm doing much more driving than the AI are right now. Got final two corners. A little bit of dust there. And that corner pretty much follows the right line. So overall, not too bad of a lap. A few mistakes. I drove worse than the AI did do that lap. But you can see it worked, it's very easy, you don't have to do much coding at all, just a couple things you gotta change, a couple file names you have to change, uh, yeah, not too not too hard, you just gotta drive a lap, and you'll have your AI sorted. That really helps for, for tracks that AI maybe drive terrible lines, or just aren't quick enough, you can drive the way you think they should be driven, and hopefully they'll go a bit faster. So, yeah, thanks for watching this tutorial, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, look out for more tutorials in the future and comment down below on what other tutorials you would like on games like this. I, I can try find a solution. So thanks for watching. Goodbye for now. This has been Brandon from Unleashed Drivers and we'll see you later. Bye now. Oh no. Oh, he's missed it up. Oh. 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 It's going to be side by side down oh the finish. Oh my god. It's side by side. <laughs>